guys. Didn't see you guys there. You guys are being a bunch of creepy creepers. So it's May 1st. I'm actually out on my very first ride on my uh, motorbike here. It's a Friday, I have the day off work. Just going for a little bit of a fun ride, do some gravel road, maybe a little bit of exploring, not getting too uh, crazy today. Bike saddle winter, took a little bit for it to get started, I got it started, it run pretty uh, lumpy there because I guess gas wasn't so good. Burned through that bad gas, we got a full tank and uh, it's running good now. Doesn't seem to be anything else mechanically going wrong, so hopefully we'll have a fun ride today. It's uh, when I left the house, it was like eight Celsius, which I think what is a low 50s Fahrenheit, so it's not particularly warm. It's supposed to hit double double digits Celsius today. <coughs> but I got long underwear on under my pants. I got a long underwear top on. Uh, got full leather gloves here and the tips of my fingers are actually already feeling a little bit cool. Especially at highway speeds here. So we're gonna look for Apula Road. It's a gravel road that uh, I've never been down actually. Which I find surprising because I do a lot of cycling down here. I think it's probably a newer road when I was really hardcore into cycling in the 90s and we were out this way all the time. On Google Maps it looks really fun, windy, up and down. There's still ice uh, on this lake here. First week of May. Oh, looks like it's been freshly resurfaced make it a lot more loose. So this road was in the <coughs> local news here uh, just a couple weeks ago. It was closed <coughs> for a few days because uh, <coughs> it was washed out in a couple spots. Uh, a raging river right across the road. They had some pictures of it. There was quite a bit of water. I believe I'll slow up going, but there you go, first ride of the year. I'm not used to all the floating and the drifting. Uh, it looks like this is one of the <coughs> spots that was washed out here. Got big hunks of uh, stone. God, how many one lane bridges have we crossed here? Probably, this is like probably about the fifth one. been down this road a few kilometers and there's already been I think five bridges. <coughs> there's kind of a trail. Check this out a little bit. Next week uh, I'm supposed to do a ride with a uh, riding buddy. He's got a KLX 250 as well. I'll come preview this area. Maybe we'll come right out here. Ah, it's non stop up and down. And uh, we might come check this place out. This isn't where I actually want to go, but today it's another road. I saw on the maps of Googleish. What I actually want to go check out.
yeah. Okay, so I think I found our uh, ride for next Friday. Or Saturday. We're either going to ride on Friday or Saturday. I've got next Friday off as well. I booked a bunch of Fridays off. Same as I did last year, because I've really gotten kind of hardcore back into cycling, and it takes uh, the majority of my free time, especially on weekends, and <coughs> even if there is kind of free time left on the days where I go do bike rides, I'm doing a lot of hard riding, so lots of times I'm really tired. We're, we'll go up to that high spot over there. It might be a nice view, because right now we're on top of uh, just about to kind of go into the Cam River Valley and there's usually a nice view just as just before you're going to drop into it. Oh yeah, well if we can get there. I'm interested in getting stuck in the mud by myself. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not getting too adventurous today. Maybe next week with a riding buddy who could help uh, push me or pull me out. I got stuck. Because <clears throat> I did actually get stuck in the mud last year. I was actually <clears throat> making a video of a ride and I was going down this trail on the, the Indian Reserve that's right on the edge of town and there were some mud holes. The one looked dry. I tried to go through it and I got stuck. It took me, I don't know, probably over 30 minutes to get my motorbike out of there. I was freaking exhausted by the time I got it out of there. The bike had fallen over, so it was laying on its side for uh, that whole time. Because the only way I could get it out was to kind of pull it inch by inch sideways until I got it enough to a dry spot that I could stand it up and get it out. But that must have done something to the air fuel mix because when I tried to start it, it wouldn't start. <coughs> and I killed the battery in the process. This doesn't have kickstart. Tried to bump start it, but just couldn't do it with the, the terrain and the, the type of surface that it was. So I'm on the reserve, which is like right on the edge of town, but <coughs> cell phone coverage kind of just like ends abruptly. So there was no cell phone service there. So basically I hid my motorcycle in the bush and started walking out and walking towards town till I got close enough to town that there was actually some uh, reception for my phone and uh, I called a buddy that I done some rides with and uh, you know I don't know him outside of other than riding and uh, he was super cool about it. He basically jumped in his car right away and came to get me which was super awesome. And it was already like uh, seven, eight o'clock in the evening, and <coughs> by the time I would have got back to my bike with uh, how did it work exactly? No, oh, no, that's not what happened. I took the battery out and started walking back towards town. And then I took the, I had the battery with me, I took it home, <coughs> charged it overnight, and then went back in the morning with my brother. My brother <coughs> drove my car, and we put the battery in, and it started like first try, when it was sitting upright, I guess uh, all the air or whatever went out of the fuel line. <coughs> And then I drove away, but I was videotaping it at the time, and then uh, I uh, deleted the footage. I'm like, shit, because I was kind of embarrassed to get stuck. 
but then after the after I was like you know what that was actually funny that would have made a good video kind of regret re deleting that footage but I was embarrassed that I got stuck but it made me realize that it can happen and whole oh, if you're by yourself uh, especially with bigger bikes like this thing I think I've got the weight probably down about 290 maybe 285 pounds but if you're riding like a KLR which is almost a 500 pound motorbike and you get stuck in a mud bog like you're by yourself uh, yeah you could be in a little bit of trouble and you're far from home Got some wash out here on this bridge was oh, a neat little hamlet neat little hamlet tiny home there Appreciate my loud motorcycle. So now we're on Silver Falls Road. We've got maybe two, three kilometers of pavement before we hit gravel again, and then we get on the road that uh, Forbes River Road. We're gonna go to the end of it. I, on Google Maps, uh, it's a dead end, but it looks really interesting near the end. Actually, it looks like it ends at somebody's house, like off the grid house. I've been down this section of this road before. Uh, I come cycling out here. Winter time, I come do fat bike rides out here. Uh, so the roads here are still a little damp. Well, obviously, because you go up the left here you're going up up the valley and I guess there's still spring runoff coming down from there yeah and my rear PMR rack is still broken I still haven't done anything about it okay well that's not true I dropped it off at uh, Quickie King's place uh, today he's a welder and uh, he's got some TIG welding equipment and he's gonna fix it for me so next week I should be able to carry extra fuel which I'm gonna need on that ride I'm gonna do with my KLX riding buddy so we have no extra fuel with us today so there's two gas stations on the way home so we should be able to fuel up this bike doesn't get great fuel mileage anymore since I've made performance modifications if you haven't been following my channel it is now a 330 cc bike with the uh, custom craft bore kit and it has a full muzzy exhaust system which has definitely made the bike more fun to ride but it's made a substantial hit to uh, how much fuel it uses okay yeah so here's where it starts getting more interesting and right away I see we start going uphill just up here uphill I gotta come out here on a bicycle and suffer on it and there's been uh, quite a bit of forestry uh, cutting happening out here actually I'm surprised because we're not even 40k uh, outside of the city didn't realize they did cutting like this so close to town it'd just be beautiful if there was trees okay so now it's becoming a road much less traveled uphill again oh, I'm 
glad I came to check this out. This is an interesting road. There's still snow here. We're going up in elevation, so... Twisty Forestry Road. Kind of cool. Lots of up and down. Oh, I think I just ran over some bear bear poop. Other places to explore, but there's definitely uh, lots of private property, no trespassing signs, so can't really explore too much more around here if you're a responsible motorcyclist, no trespassing. Another trail to the left, but big no trespassing sign. See the house uh, through the trees there. So the road ends at this house here. Try and not be too loud. fun road and we get to enjoy it again on the way back. <laughs> there's an abandoned shed there. Be interesting to check out but there's big no trespassing signs plastered all over it. Now we get to go up uh, hills that we came up. It's pretty steep. Steep for a road designed for cars anyways. And we're gonna pull over up here because I gotta take a leak. view as soon as we get over this rise here. Cam River Valley. Fortunately it's brown because it's still very early spring. Very nice. Have to come out here in the summertime when everything is gorgeous. I'm just gonna turn around and pull off the road here and urinate. So yeah, bike's running great, considering it's sad all winter, haven't done anything to it. Got some scuffs uh, from a dump I took off-road there. The Kawasaki sticker fell off on this side, so it's uh, stealth on this side, but still have the Kawasaki sticker on this side. And that used to have some pinstriping here, actually that I liked, it actually looked nice. and. Uh, that sticker fell off. The GoPro mount here on my fender that I haven't used in a long time. I took the bag off uh, for my rear rack, which hopefully I'll have repaired in a week or so. But without anything mounted here, this whole plastic piece is loose, so I just put this strap on there to keep it from vibrating, because uh, it actually vibrates quite a bit. Cam River Valley Vistas here for you. Oh, someone's got
got a little camping spot. What the hell is that? A little barn. Whatever it is, they got a freaking nice view. A little sugar shack they got up here. Great spot. Maybe eventually they're building a house there. 